We're having her sit and wait before she gets allowed on the mat. My right hand, I'm gonna pat her chest and say, go to your mat. She goes over there, you say down. Good, she gets a reward for going straight down there like that. And now I'm gonna drop the leash and walk a little bit farther away. First we'll just walk farther away in front of her and then go back and reward her. Good. Now walk farther away on either side. And then back in front, because you always reward her from in front, so you always come back here and then approach her and above her like this and reward her. See how she's waiting? Good. Make sure she waits for you to put her on the mat and then she takes the reward off the mat. Now I'm going to walk around her both ways from a farther distance. And this time instead of rewarding her each time I'll walk around, just to show you what she can do, I'm going to walk around both ways before I reward her at all. So I walked around both ways and she gets a reward for that. Good. And now before we end this section, I'm just going to walk farther away, way far away, other end of the yard, come back, it's like 30 feet away, come back, reward her, good, go way behind her like this, way behind her, come back and reward her, and that's really good, good, and then to release her off the mat, no, see that? So if she starts to get up before you release her, drop the leash and say no. Go back and do it again. If she's making mistakes, maybe you're moving a little bit too quickly like I was. So at first when she's just learning, move more slowly and deliberately so you don't trigger her to get excited and pop up because it's just a lack of concentration on her part. So at first if you move slower, She'll get it more solidly and then later on you can move as fast as you want because she'll be much better at it then and that won't spook her or have her get up, make her get up. So you're standing next to her, just like in real life. If you have her in a down stay and everything that you do on this mat is gonna carry over to real life out in the street or wherever you are, she's gonna wait till you come back. No matter what happens, where you go or any distractions around you, she's gonna wait until you come back before she leaves. She's waiting for you to come back next to her, pat your leg and say, okay. And then sit, because everything starts and ends with a calm sit stay. And so you don't let her release her off the mat and then she takes off. She's still on the clock until you have her sit and she gets released to be free from a calm sit stay. And actually really make sure she waits. See how she's waiting till I pat her chest? See that? No, don't let her touch her nose to your hand. Nope. Go. Now nah, she's free. 